and welcome to episode 56 of series 3 of Become a Legend Story Mode. As you can see there, Kepa, Eden, not looking too happy. We were defeated by Arsenal in the last episode, despite having beaten Spurs beforehand, who I don't think I actually mentioned, but they won the league last year, so that was a big scalp, not only against a London rival. Great performance from Eggy there, great performance from the whole team, but then Eggy played in midfield by Sarri against Arsenal, and that went badly, badly wrong. An embarrassing defeat, which we do need to bounce back from in a big way as we invite Manchester United to the bridge. And then we've got another game against POAK and then Everton at home as well. Three home games in a row, hopefully three wins. Let's get into it. So, is Eggy still dramatically improving? Central midfield again! What? Okay, so, although I do quite enjoy it, I think we need to make sure that doesn't happen. Um... So we're just going to have to set that. I mean, I'd be happy to play as a centre forward as well. I think that'd be fine. Um, but we don't want to play as a central midfield. Do we don't make requests, I wonder? No, I think we'll leave it as that. Um, let me know in the comments if I need to don't make requests. But that, that should do it, hopefully. But for today, we're back in central midfield. And we're alongside Loftus-Cheek and N'Golo Kante. And Victor Moses starts up top. Eden Hazard in our position. It's not ideal, it didn't work in the last game against a good team and we're now up against another very good team. And Eggy's going to have his work cut out in midfield against Matic, Pogba and Fred. All three of them physical specimens. This could be a bit of a rough match for Eggy Milana victory. Uh, Manchester United have signed Draxler. They've got an 83 rated Rashford up top. Tommy Chong out on the right. He's done well for himself, he's an old man. I'm out of weedy smoke, he can't be. Oh no, it's not, okay, it's a different Chong. Very much changed back line as well, except for an 89 rated David De Gea and a 79 rated Lindelof. Not doing too well. They've got on the bench, they've still got Martial, they've signed Christensen from Chelsea. Lukaku as well is 87 rated, no Sanchez, no Mata. Let's see if we can do a bit better than we did in the last one in midfield. I'm not particularly excited about this. Let's see how it works out. So in the last game, I took pride in Eggy getting back, making challenges, defending as much as possible. But I think we're going to have to leave that to N'Golo and Ruben. I think Eggy's going to have to be more offensive in this one. Otherwise, they really do lose something without Eggy in attack. Victor Moses on the left is not a very exciting player to bring in. Sarri is obviously, he's been obviously been off the fags. Something must be going wrong in his head. He's trying to quit smoking. He's making some poor decisions. Will this one pay off or not? Oh, Eggy. There he is again. We said we weren't going to be defensive, but that is a crunching tackle. You can find Morata back inside to Eden Hazard, but the ball is a very poor one. That's really unfortunate. Eggy starting the game off strongly, looking to impose himself. He's not the biggest man ever, but he's got a heart of a lion. Eggy's pulled down this left-hand side. Got Lindelof with him. Turns away. Can he put a good ball in? Morata's there with the header. It's out to Loftus-Cheek. Will he hit this one? No, he won't. Eggy nicks it from Goulam, and he can find Morata. Can we launch a break here? Moses, if he can find the ball wide, Loftus-Cheek is in a lot of space. He makes his way into the box, away from Ruben Diaz, Loftus-Cheek with the effort. And it's a great save from De Gea, first big chance of the game from Chelsea there. And it was Eggy who won it back in the build-up. It's a great ball from Moses to find Loftus-Cheek, making a surging run from midfield. It's come off the face of David De Gea. Well, you make yourself big, those sort of things happen. Eggy nicks it from Chong, and now he can bring it forward. We need Eggy to be more involved here. Moves away from Fred, cuts back inside. Can find Moses. Now Morata back heel into Eggy. Great hit, and it's an incredible save from David De Gea. And that is liquid football there from Chelsea. Eggy is just demanding the ball every opportunity. He wants the ball, he wants to be in possession. It's a difficult angle. It's taken a very strong hand from the Spaniard to keep that one out. Moses, out wide. Eggy trying to give him support. Great running from Victor Moses. Eggy's there. It's a good ball into him. He's got Morata at the near post. Oof. De Gea is out. Deals with it well. Well, we've created more chances. And there we are, half-time here at the bridge. And, yeah, I'd say we should be up here. Eggy with a couple of good chances. Oh, and Mourinho still at United. Didn't even spot that. There are subplots galore in this matchup. Matic is playing against us. Lukaku could be. Mourinho still there. Up against his old side. He always wants to win. Coming back to Chelsea. But at the moment, his old side are on top. And Eggy is looking bright. 
playing a little bit more offensively than he did last time in central midfield, and it seems to be working. Been given a free roll this time by Sarri. Can we find a goal in this second half? Victor Moses now. Let's take on Fred. No, that's a very poor ball. Let's put into the path of Lukaku. We'll get there. Great hit. First touch of the game for the substitute. The ex-Chelsea man very nearly putting Manchester United ahead. That would have been an awful way to start the half. Chong. Back to Fred. Dangerous ball in. It's dealt with. Only as far as Araujo. Low ball in. Lukaku, of course, it had to be. Is he offside? He's offside. Thank God for that. Yeah, he's massively offside. Eggy backing into Matic. Wins it. Oh, that's poor, but it's fallen to Eggy here. Away from Ruben Diaz. Has to beat him again. And again. And again. And again. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, he faked the entire world on that one. Great strength. <laughs> one. See ya. And again. See you later. Worked the shot. Just couldn't finish. Really unlucky. Oh, Eggy wins it back. And then turns and looks to launch the break. Got the pace to move away from Fred. Finds Morata. This ball is wide to Moses. Great take there. And Eggy's found a little bit of space now. Can he step away from Diaz? He can. Power into the box. No, Araujo does really well. Oh, Draxler is released by a great ball from Paul Pogba. Lukaku lurking in the centre. Ooh, that's an incredible header. Miranda put him under pressure but couldn't do enough. Lukaku's looked like scoring as soon as he came on in the second half. It was almost meant to be the ex-Chelsea man. Always wants to make an impression here at Stamford Bridge. And that is an incredible glanced header over the outstretched Kepper. Fuck. Well, we were on top and now we're behind. Oh, real danger here. Lukaku with the simple one-two. Miranda Aspilicueta nowhere near him. Oh, Kepa does incredibly well there to grab that one out of the sky. A lovely little touch on that. But Lukaku will have another go here. And he doesn't miss that one. Unbelievable. It was all Chelsea, all game. Kepa with a great save. And Kante, of all players. Didn't get it away. Matic is loop ball in. It's taken down well by the big striker. Oh, God. This is a really, really hard one to take. Draxler now. 70 minutes gone. Into Lukaku. Oh, fuck off. Well, a second half hat trick from Romelu Lukaku. has put this game to bed for Manchester United. Unbelievable. We've been the better side. I'll tell you who's been awful. Absolutely awful in the last few games. And one of the big reasons why we're doing so badly. Eden Hazard. Been anonymous. And when he has touched the ball... He's been poor, and he's substituted here, and rightly so, because he's been crap. Absolute, pure, unadulterated dog shit. So, I mean, Eggy's been trying his best. But without our star man, or should be our star man, performing to any sort of level, we're always going to struggle. Oh, and Lukaku grabs his fourth. Unbelievable. Another 4-0 loss. Arsenal, and now Manchester United. I can't remember if the Arsenal one was at home, but there are boos now coming from the Chelsea fans. Stamford Bridge, not a happy place to be at the moment. Romelu Lukaku has come on, and he has, yep, yeah, he's absolutely murdered us. Oh, it's a consolation. Alvaro Morata, too little, too late there from the corner for Chelsea. This was nicely worked. Why couldn't we take our chances earlier in the game when we had them? Boo! Boo! Four from Lukaku. He takes home the match ball. Plus one. That was that was painful. That was really painful. Let's take a look at the chart. I mean, in the end, United, yes, they created a lot of chances. But we were all over in the first half. Mourinho will be happy about that. God, that makes me angry. Eggy with a 4.5. God, I didn't think we were that bad. Why were we that bad? I think it's probably because we weren't playing as a central midfielder. I think that's probably it, isn't it? We were creating chances, we were getting in the box, that we tried to play the way that we thought would benefit the team, but it's just not his position. It's just not his position, and we've been punished for it again, and you've got to blame Sari. You've absolutely got to blame him. But hopefully the manager now will hear Eggy's request just not to play us there. Not to play us there at all. Okay, it's still very early days. Let's not panic. We're three points away from third place Southampton. Fortunately, the league, I mean, the league's slipping away eight points now away from Liverpool. United move four points ahead of us. I mean, it's still so tight. It's really, really tight. Fulham still in the mix. <laughs> Spurs having a tough start. 
Uh, anyone else struggling? Newcastle with only five points. Wow, and City? They've drawn four, lost one. They're having a tough time. Liverpool, the standout team so far. We need to improve and quickly. But Eggy, as we know, playing excellently. 6.8 rating. That's really taken our average rating down, that 4.5. We just don't want to be playing in central midfield. It doesn't suit our game. And, well, we tried to be a central midfielder last time and it didn't help the team. And we've tried to be a bit more attacking this time and it certainly hasn't helped our overall rating. I'm a bit annoyed. Either way, hopefully Sarri will just stop it now. Just, just stop. There we go. Attacking prowess up to 82. Will we get another week of it? I think I feel like we're getting towards the end of it now. We're in the starting lineup today. Where will we be playing? Let's take a look at the sides. Let's not do this. Don't do this to us. Oh, we're in the midfield again. Stop it. Right. I'm... Unbelievable. I don't know, maybe if the request hasn't been listened to yet by Sarri, he's considering it. Um, or we need to say don't make requests for central midfield. Um, but we'll do that. I'm, I'm guessing that it just hasn't been heard yet by Sarri. He's, he's very busy smoking and, and such. Well, anyway, this is a very different team today. No Hazard, Martinez, Hudson, and Doy on the wings. Hazard on the bench. He's been sh just crap. Absolute crap. David Luiz comes in looking like a serial killer in that shot. And Eggy, the 74 rated central midfielder. We're just fucking wasting the dramatic improvement at the moment, which is what the most painful part of this is. Look, we can experiment this time. And we'll, we'll try being a more conventional central midfielder and see if that helps our rating. But hopefully we score some goals and we don't have to worry about that. This is a game we should be winning. So we're back at the bridge and we're hoping now to make amends and just get the atmosphere going again. For the Everton game, three home games in a row. Manchester United won. Not the best start. Not the best start at all. Just absolutely mullered by Romelu Lukaku, which must have been very painful to watch for the Chelsea fans. I mean, if you go and look at a, an ex-Chelsea eleven in the Premier League now, I mean, it's a it's a team that could win everything. Absolutely is. And uh, Lukaku, probably not even one of the best players, ex-Chelsea players. But, as we saw, absolutely destroyed us. So, hopefully today we uh, go up against... A much weaker team, and we give them a bit of a kicking. But they've got strong support here, the Greeks. The Greek community in London, they're out in force. They will be loud, but hopefully the Chelsea fans can get their voices back. Stop booing us, and we can move forward. Martinez, good flick into Eggy. He can push it through for Morata. Oh, we'll power past Diaz. That's great centre-forward play. Just finish it off now. Oh, you're f Eggy now. Dropping a bit deeper, looking to dictate play. Steps away from one, and then another. Looking for options here. He'll cut back. Find Van Ginkel. Neatly worked here from Chelsea. Van Ginkel. Oh, that's a lovely ball into Morata. Can he find Eggy? No, he can't. Oh, it's unlucky. Morata, great ball into hudson Odoi. Oh, it's great. Powerful running there from the winger. He'll cut back. I think he's made a good run here. Out of his feet. On the turn. Oh. <laughs> Had to do a little dummy there. As the defender was coming in. He was well picked out by hudson Adoy. We just moved too far away from the goal. Yeah, we were too far away. Unlucky. Dangerous free kick here from POAK. Almost half an hour in. Nothing from either side so far. Oh, that's a cheeky one. <laughs> Jabber puts it way over the bar. But that was very, very clever. It's been a great goal. Half time here at the bridge, and that was awful. Really poor performance from Eggy and from Chelsea in general. I, d I don't know what we've been doing. I don't know. I can't even decide how we're trying to play as a central midfielder. It just doesn't seem right to be sitting back. But then we know that's going to cost us, and we're not playing well in general. This is going rapidly downhill. This episode. Come on, let's do better. We can do this. David Luiz, towering header, and Eggy can find Barkley here. That's a nice ball into Eggy. Can hudson Adoy make a good run? No, he can't, but Eggy's going to have to go a lot. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Just to slip a ball through. No. <laughs> poor, poor, poor. Awful. Eggy once again getting back, making challenges. It's not helping us in an attacking sense. Maratta, you're fucking awful. Oh, my God. I just give up. I mean, Eggy's going to be substituted now because we've had to run ourselves into the ground. Trying to get back, trying to make a difference. And that's not working for us. 
Nothing's working for Chelsea today. I wouldn't be surprised if Athens scored here. No, they don't. We can't even get the fucking ball back. Oh, Eggy nicks in. Now we've got a four-on-four -four opportunity here. All we've got to do is get the right ball. It should be into Morata. No! <laughs> right, well, that, that, was, that was terrible. I mean, this, this is a new low. This really is a new low. Nil-nil at home to POAK. P-A-O-K. I don't, I'm not okay with it. I, I, don't even, I don't care what their name is, where they're from. We should be beating them. Oh, God. Awful. Fucking get us back on the wing. This is a piss take, Sarri. We're going to really fall out. This time, Eggy gets a 6.5, so that's much better. Actually, trying to get... All, all it needed was us to try and get back. You look at the heat map, obviously. We're all over the pitch. Look at that. We, we missed fucking so many passes. 15 of 24 attempted passes made. Only one shot on target. Three interceptions, I mean. But we weren't... Oh, God. Oh, God. And our keeper gets man of the match. That is... That is not good news. But it is only the Europa League group stage, and we're still top of the league. So let's not worry about that too much. What we do need to worry about is if we can't beat Everton in the next game. Eggy did run himself into the ground in that one. Got him a 6.5 average rating, but really, it's not going to help us much. But look at that. Unwavering Barons. Look at all these 80s going up. Stamina, 84. Ball, oh, we're just, just going through the stratosphere now. But three days later, we are going to be very, very tired. Uh, but we do start. Please, not in midfield. Please. Just listen to what we're trying to tell you. Sorry. Yeah, thank fuck for that. Okay, good. Right, we're back where we should be, but the dramatic improvement is over. But that's fine. That is fine. We've done well. We've done really well from it. Oh, look at that. Kieran Dow. KD. Starting for Everton. That is what I'd love to see in real life. Doesn't look to be happening. Um, a rare appearance for Danny Drinkwater today. Hudson and Doya on the left. Hazard on the bench again. Again, probably deserves to be there. Great to see Trent back on the right wing. Right, let's get a win today. Nothing else will do. Now, four games without a win would really be a catastrophe for Sarri. You would have to question his job in general if that was the case. But I've got a good feeling about today. Eggy back out on the wing where he loves to be. That's where he operates at the moment. I mean, to be fair, it shouldn't be too much of a stretch for him to play at central midfield. Since he played at attacking midfield for so long. But yeah, the defensive duties don't really suit him. Today, we need to score goals. We need to be blistering, pacey winger. Let's do this. Oh, come on. Is that really how we're going to start the game? Ball cuts ball inside his block. But Dow with the lovely back heel. Bernard shot is blocked. But Kieran Dow, oh, he puts it wide. He's a player we know and love and cherish on this channel. But we don't want to see him score. Not today. Oh, Bernard, lovely flick into Baines, and he finds Bernard, who can turn. The Brazilian looks to put a ball into the box, but it's well dealt with by Trent. Alvaro Morata lays it off to Eggy. Steps away from Gay, and that's great work. Eggy through the centre. Got Davis with him. Ball out wide to Callum hudson Oh, it's a great effort from the young winger. Eggy looking at his explosive best through the centre, powering away. Did well to find the ball out to hudson Adoy. He stepped back inside. It's a good shot. Forced a good save. Oh, lovely ball into Eggy. Sees the run of Alexander-Arnold. Can he pick out Eggy again? Yeri Mina's there. Drink water into Eggy. Oh, turns away. Oh, it's a great effort. <laughs> lovely turn. Sent them all. Off for a little jolly in the wrong direction. The keeper stretched out a good arm to save that one. Charleston. Does well against multiple Chelsea defenders. Gay away from his man. Kep a good save. And we're forced to head out for a corner. First chance of the game there for Everton. Gay will get to it. Eggy can't close him down quick enough. Finds Kieran Dowell. Is he fouled there? He gets the shot away. And once again, Kepa forced into an acrobatic save. And it'll be another corner here from Tom Davis. The waviest man in football. Sticks it in. Gay with the header this time again. We can get it clear here. Eggy wants it wide. That's a good ball out. Can we build something here? Oh, suddenly there's a load of space. I was expecting some defenders to be there. Oh, there they are. Okay, dropping very deep. Eggy through the centre. Away from Davis. Edge of the box here. Eggy gets the shot away. It's a good save. That was bizarre. <laughs> well, I honestly thought that was the line. And then suddenly Morata was there with two defenders on him. It still opened up. Eggy able to cut inside of Tom Davis. Edge of the box. Great opportunity. Good save. Come on. Eggy, lovely touch. Cuts inside of Baines. 
Oh, can't get the cross in. That's well blocked. We'll keep it alive here with Kante. Now Morata. Oh, he's fouled edge of the box there. Free kick opportunity here. Eggie's been without a goal in a long time. Please tell me Eggie's taking this. And please tell me no one else is going to try and take it. Right, come on. We haven't scored a free kick in a long time. Yeri Mina there lurking. That doesn't bode well. Can we find the back of the net here? I think that might be about right. Yes! <laughs> long overdue that was. Oh my god. Well, well, well. Eggie finally back in the goals. And when we needed him most, he came up trumps. And there's the famous celebration. The sex eyes. I think we'll call them the sex eyes. I think that's what we'll call it from now on. Just, you know, you know, we're doing something now. That's confidence, allure. It's all there. Allure. Have I said that one? Allure. Allure? I don't know. Well, he's allured that one perfectly over the wall. Just skimming the top of Tom Davis's beautifully combed hair. Oh, that's nice. We needed that badly. Eggie, back in the goals. Chelsea, can we get back in winning ways? Eggy nicks that back well, and that's a great ball into Morata. Now drink water over the top to Eggy. It's not the right ball there, is it, Danny? Eggy into Morata. Real chance here. Surely we can't fuck this up. Oh, we can. We can. We did. No, we didn't. But he didn't score. I thought he was offside. Shit. Well, should have been 2-0 at the half there. Just about got the right ball in there. But Eggy, from the free kick, gets his first goal in a while. Hang on. What was the last score in the last game? 0-0. For that four, I oh know we did score one, didn't we, in the last game? But yeah, we've been we've been very, very dry in terms of goals. We've not been great today, but Eggy with a moment of brilliance. That's all we needed. Hopefully, that is the beginning of us doing a bit better. That's all we can ask for. Come on, Walcott now. That's right hand side. Gets away from Kante. That's a good ball in. That's a decent header away. Eggy can't get to it though. Ahead of Tom Davis. Somehow there was a foul there from Eggy. I don't know. Coleman, if he can keep this in, should be able to get a ball into the box. Danger here. Kieran Dow with the layoff to Bernard. Yes, dealt with. Nice. Eggy, smart ball into hudson Adoy. Can we launch a break here? Morata lays it off. Now hudson Adoy. Morata with the back hit into Eggy. Can he push it down the line into hudson Adoy? Will he get to this? Keep it in, Hudson. Oh, Seamus Coleman. That's a good tackle and a poor clearance. But again, on the break, looking good there. Oh, that's a great ball into Weggy. Back heel looking for Morata. Too unselfish there. Way too unselfish. Well, Morata gets to that well. And Eggy turns inside of Tom Davis. No one else to look for here. Oh, steps away. Can he get the shot off? Oh, yes. That's more like it. That is the Eggy we know and love. And he lays down and he basks in the adoration of the Stamford Bridge crowd. It's been a long time coming for a big performance like this. And that is Eggy Milana victory. Steps inside of Tom Davis. See you later, mate. See you later. And this little touch away here. Oh, the little dummy, the feint. So subtle, but so effective. Just moves away from... I'm not quite sure who the defender was there. Let's take a look at this here. It's just an absolute lesson in body position. Little feint. Oh, bye. Oh, Macaulay. <laughs> <laughs> See you later, mate. And then it's well struck. And we're two up here from Eggy. Can we get a hat-trick here? That would be the great end to the episode that we need. The positive end to the episode. Come on. Coleman into Walcott. Cuts back in. Seamus Coleman. That's a very cute ball into Theo Walcott. Low ball in. Dealt with really well. And Eggy can bring it under. And push it down the line into Alexander-Arnold. There'd be a third here. We'd love Eggy to be involved. We'd love a hat-trick today. That's a great ball down the line into Morata. He'll get there ahead of Leighton Baines. Eggy slowly making his way into the box. Flicks it away from McCauley. Ah, oh, McCauley, though, does enough this time. Oh, Eggy with an unnecessary sliding challenge there. And it's going to be a yellow card. That's stupid. Two minutes left in this with two goals up. Why? Why did I do that? It's only going to hurt our rating. Don't need a booking. Especially not in the last minute. Stupid. I'm not going to get the uh, hat trick here. But it's nice, anyway, to be the catalyst for a final win in this episode. Which we really needed. For our confidence. For the league position. For just about everything. Had to be three points today. I think he would have loved a hat trick. But I don't think that's going to happen now. 
But Morata does well. Can we find Eggy here? No. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to commentate my way into a historic hat trick there. But no, we'll take the two goals. The second goal. I mean, they were both great goals. And uh, as I said, really, really needed those. Uh, we really needed the three points. And we needed the confidence as well. It was a tough game. Everton, in many ways, the better side. But not where it counts, which is the two goals. For Eggy, that's much better. Man of the match, 7.5. That has a familiar ring to it, which we really needed to see again. And uh, where will that see us now? Ah, oh, leapfrogging up to sixth. Much better. But worryingly, Liverpool not showing any signs of slowing down. They're still six points ahead of us. Game against Liverpool would be interesting, but we're right in the conversation here. Southampton, you'd expect to drop off. Everton, well, they were doing well. Jesus, they had a great start to the season. So that's a big win, actually. Um, we've conceded a fucking shed load of goals, but we're scoring them. And I think, I think we might be able to do well this season. Don't quote me on that. So 85 as an attacking midfield is our final rating after the dramatic improvement. It's a little bit ironic that as soon as that finishes, we have a good performance. But hey, let's not get into that. Hopefully that's what happens to Juan Brunetta in Master League. But anyway, pretty pleased. Pretty pleased. 11 goals, 11 assists, 14 appearances, 6.8 average. Uh, it's a good start to the season. Really good start to the season. 22 years old. Let's take a look now at our ability after a dramatic improvement. It's just looking great, isn't it? I mean, where's the prop? Where's the where's the weaknesses? I guess passing, maybe. 79 passing will do you just fine, and we're very close to having a full green line. It's not an issue to have header defensive prowess and ball winning not as green. But if we can get green all the way down, we can allow physical contact to be below that. Then I mean that is that's an absolute dream player. 84 stamina is certainly helping as well. As someone mentioned in the comments, I think it's probably time to go back to a player skill. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know in the comments. But yeah, we needed that. We really needed that. And then in the next episode, we start off with a game against Watford. Another home game. I'm not having to do much travelling at the moment, which is good. So it will be Watford, followed by an away trip to Newcastle and then St. Troglet. So three games in the next episode, which we should definitely be winning. And uh, yeah, we should be looking a lot better after that. So top of the goal rankings as well. Eight goals for Eggy. He is the golden boot and it feels damn good. I'll see you in a bit.